and we have some good gaps. Yay! Um, so we're gonna get something today, <coughs> and hopefully something big. So VFC looks amazing. I even like True. I didn't like it before, but I don't think it's as good as the ones I rated. So let's watch them both just to be safe here. C N C G N X. Um and the VFC, just in case. <laughs> yes, the numbers have changed, Steve, but that's not a bad thing. It just dropped here the last two seconds, so. <clears throat> I don't know which one to do. Let's play it by ear here. They both will probably have bank stops, so just FYI. This, I would like to get some more volume. This, Oh, they're both kind of the same. Market's going to rally today. I don't know if it rallies in the morning, but we're not going to worry about it. We will just do our thing as usual. <coughs> and then we'll go over whatever we want to go over. And it looks like $70 in this VFC is not crazy. I thought it was a dream target, but definitely looks good. Good luck, everyone. <coughs> Let's be perfect today. Ooh, it was a big spread. It's 50 cents. And also, don't jump the gun because this might open late, but let's just see here. Let's watch the volume. <coughs> okay, just wait. Wow. 60 cents spread, 50 cents spread. And this this is backing up. That's not what I want to see for that. Let's just focus on VFC here. Rand and drop broke, broke 74. That was the first target, broke it. Rally now, just wait. This is not what I want to see on this. I'm moving it away. Wow, this is not going to be... You could short it right here and put the stop at 75.20. If you want to short it under the low, that is way too big for me. I'm not going to take that trade. 50 by 20. 72.50 by 74. A 7520, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait. Actually, it doesn't look like it hit. I thought it did hit. We can't take it with a stop like that. A dollar, dollar, half at the most. Let's just wait and see. I thought that hit. Okay, if it hits, you can do it, but I'm going to wait for a better entry. 72.50, you can do it. All right, here, let's see if we get something better. Stop is still going to be 75.20. In fact, 75.25. Man, it's going to be two bucks. Do 30 by 25. It's basically $2. And don't do it unless it hits. I think that's the best we're going to get. If, it, if that hits, $2 stop. And don't oversize yourself. And if it doesn't hit, we'll get something better. I was thinking a buck and a half. Here, we might get something better.
True's going. I'm not in it, but True looks like it's going. I'm really waiting for this. And this. This is a big stop, too. Gosh, man, everything is really, really a wide stop today. No. I think this is going to be off for me shortly. It's just over 76. I don't like it. Wow. Here, I'm going to focus on true. VFC, I don't like over 76, and it's 20 cents away from there. I'm not in anything yet. CGNX might be setting up, but that stops huge. First target in this, though, is 1090, 11 and 1090. Let's see if we can get a decent entry and true for a decent play. I don't have it yet. I'm just sitting here watching it. Stop's going to be 1145. Let's do, let's do 15 by 45, true. Here, take it if you want it. It's going to hit. Get in true if you want it right here with the stop it at 45. And I think we're going to get more. We can lower it as well. I'm just, I'm not going to be tight with anything today. 45, be in true if you want it, short. Air, hit 15. 11.45 is the stop. This is not going to swing around and be wild. Tar first target, though, is really 11 and 10.90. All right, let's go back to this. No, wow, this just never set up. Uh, let's go back to this. No, wow. Here, if you want something, do this. I don't see anything else setting up. It's good we had three things to look at today. That's life. Let's just see if we can find a way to get more of this and possibly pull down the stop. But for now, have it at 1145. This is just going to go here. I was trying to find a way for us to take more and lower the stop. It's just going to go. I, I I don't know if this could go full on down to here. 1070 would be like a dream number for this today. This is going. So we're going to make money in this. I'm just was trying to find if there's any way we could take more and pull the stop down. It's just falling. Uh, we could. I, it's not that I don't think we're going to get here, but we could bounce off 1090. Every number here could be a baby number. Gosh, where could we take more? 1090, under the low 1090, and I just wish that we could take more of this. Do, 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 do. No, this is off. Never set up. Don't do it. Did it get over 76? No, but it's probably going to. And this flipped. Oh, my Lanta. What? Is it true the only thing that's working? Happy we got something today. Looking to find out how we could get more of that shrew without squeezing it too tight because it really wasn't an amazing gap. Um, it's unfortunate VFC pretty much made the move in the pre-market. This, no, I don't like. And this is working. All right, let's, let's, let's just see here with this one. Let's do this. It's not going to save us that much. That's the problem. This isn't going to save as much of anything. Let's take more under 10 and here. Stop's going to be 11.37. We're really not saving that much. Here, take more now. It's going to break. And you put this stop at 11.37. It doesn't really save us that much. It's pretty much just like we're taking more risk in the trade. Just be in it if you want it. We're just trying to get some more bigness of this, making it more money because I just, I don't think it has a big move. 
under 11. Here, you, you took more if you wanted. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes, here. Da, 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 da. Friday, here, here, true. True, we gotta watch 11. And you could shave some off. Well, that was good timing to get a little bit more before that broke down. This was the cheap one. Here, let's look at this. And let's have a very, very, ooh, the market is going to hold today and quicker than I thought. All right, we didn't break through 11. Gosh, I really think it does. You could have gotten out of some there. Now this has a six penny spread, five penny spread. KHC. Did this gap? This did gap. Oh, I didn't see this at all this morning, actually. Yes, it did work. I didn't see it. Nobody saw it, apparently. 9 o'clock, 9.15, it had the volume. No, I didn't see this at all. Okay, and she worked. But I'm in this, and it's working. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with this. No, I, I didn't see it. Here, under 11, we should go right down to 1090, and then that will be my day. If it did KHC, best trader, great. I don't see any entry in here. It, it fell. Um, if I see something here, I'll call it. I wouldn't jump into this right in here now. This was the entry. You would have had to be aggressive. I didn't see the gap. In fact, I, I don't even know why this gap, because I looked at the list of earnings this morning. Here, True. Like I said, you people can feel free to give me ideas, or sometimes I miss even a short. It's not often, but sometimes. Here, trail under 11. Here, hold on. What was this, Kaya? I'm just going to go like an outside here. Why did this gap? It was earnings. 842. Yeah. No, I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not sure if I would have watched that anyways. We had so many things to look at. All right, let's pay attention here. Trim's working. I'll go back here. Just try to get down to 1090. Here, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful end to an absolutely really amazing week for me. Uh, here we go. True. True. Wait, this is really spreading for a cheap stock. 1095. This is going to bounce off every single solitary penny for Pete's sakes. <laughs> 1093, 1091, 1095, 1094, 1096, 1097, 1071. It's going to go do, 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 do. Uh, market is along and it is going to work today as a long and that's really fantastic. <laughs> Let's look at these other ones here that I had called for options. You could have been at a lot of the true down. I thought it was going to go right down to 1090. Still in it, giving a little bit of time. Netflix nearing the highs again, it looks like. Um, I called this for the options letter. Please tell when someone's still in it. Tayoga got out of it. That was fine and had a rally yesterday, but please tell when telling me they're still in this trade because it's going to rock it. It's going to rock and roll. Frisco got out yesterday. Dubad's is the only one left. I don't see Turtle. I have to email him. He's usually the one that goes crazy on these options. Frisco's still on Amazon. <clears throat> I think Netflix is going to be the home run. All right, True's getting a little whippy. It's bouncing, which is fine. One more chance. I'm going to give it to break through the low, and then I'm out. If you got out of it, that was fine. I took a little more. We're fine with the stop. Uh, did anyone get out of any down in there? 
Why wow, this com that just made the whole move in the morning. It was funny. Steve was like, "Oh, it just went hit through every target you put." And I'm like, "Okay, we'll just look for a lower target." But that didn't work out. It never set up. It's a bummer. That is a bummer. And this is a bummer too. And I'm glad I did not do this cuz this looked like it was going to go and then it clearly bounced and it did not go and it's reversed. Uh, so that looks like crap. Nobody got the KHC. Um, and it's, it just had a massive drop. Stop was not small, but the move down was very, very big. So actually, this is probably going to set up again. And the question is, do we want to take even more? Huh. That would be very aggressive. That would be very aggressive. You could take more if you didn't do it. Again, same numbers. 10 by 37. I don't think this goes anywhere but down. So even though the market's green, I think this goes down. It's just going to keep doing these little movies here because it's just, this is just the stock. I mean, this was a very big bar yesterday. And look, it wasn't even a dollar. <laughs> It wasn't even a dollar. So you could take this again if you got out or add more. 10 by 37. Here we go. Let's pay attention to this trade because one more through the low and we're done. And this might set up again. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the move is pretty big. Then we'll go over yesterday, and then we'll go over anything anybody wants. But Netflix is going to be a huge winner, um, whether it's today, whether it's Monday. This is going to be the winner of the ones. I'm not saying Amazon doesn't continue. Obviously, that trade was profitable. Um, but Amazon will have a more difficult time making a new high than Netflix. Netflix is just going to soar. Netflix could do it today on its own without anything happening whatsoever. Do you see how this chart looks so much different than this? Once, Net, uh, once Amazon gets over that, it will, it will just go like crazy. But it doesn't look like it's going to get over it as quickly as this. This looks like it's going to go quicker, faster, bigger, stronger. So here we are. In true. Sounds like you guys had a huge day yesterday. I will look at the end tap. Should we take more of this here? It's just going to go down. We could. Let's take more of this at 11.10. It looks really good, and I don't want to hold this all day anyway, so let's just make more out of a baby trade. Stop the same, 37. In fact, just take more of it right now. Get more of it if you want it, or if you got out, you can retake it. Put the stop at 37. Here it goes. Here, and we're going to pay attention to this right now. I'm not looking at anything else. It's going to go. If it doesn't break the low, I'm all out. Our day is done. It was a solid week. Yesterday looks like it was the biggest day of all. I'll go flip to KHC, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do that. It looks like that move was really the first three minutes. Um, but nobody gave me the idea, and I didn't see it myself. And it was earnings late, 842.
We're making money. We can't complain. Kind of heaped on a lot of this, but I feel a high level of conviction in it now watching it. And also, it's not whippy whatsoever. Here, true, true, true. It's not whippy and it's cheap. So I don't know what time the market really makes a move here. That's the question. Before noon, before 12-ish, and we could run into the close and close very, very strong this week. So I wouldn't be in any shorts this afternoon, unless you're in CMG as a put, um, unless you're in that. Low volume in this today. <sighs> yeah, unless you're in this, I wouldn't be in any shorts this afternoon. Here, true, true, true. EXP I'll look at too. Yeah, I'll look at that. I thought a lot of you get out of that already, but I will look at it. These things, stocks open lower. They did not open lower. These, these, these alerts that I get, does anyone read a chart? Apparently not. Stocks did not open lower. They opened higher. Well, they opened neutral, but definitely not lower. Okay, true, true, true. Easy trade today in this. It's unfortunate that we didn't get KHC, but it would have been no way we could have done it because I didn't even see it and no one else did either until after it had the move. I'll go look at it. Happy to be making money today. Kind of was aggressive with the sizing today in this, but really gave it a wider stop than I needed to. Uh, this will not go green today, so I felt that we were good with the number and I thought that it was more important to stay with the trade. Uh, but if this does not break 1095, I'm out. If it does, this would be an enormous trade for me, actually, if it just went to 1070. If this just went 30 more cents, I'd have a massive day. I don't, I don't know if it's going to happen here because I'm not going to stay in it for hours, but here, watch. <laughs> but with the size I have in this now, here, true, come on. 1095-ish, 1099-ish. Fake media, <laughs> fake news. Yeah, fake news getting everyone excited. The market's lower, which it's not. There's, there's no, there's no way. And we, we will go over the market because I said, I said the other day in the room, whatever that day was, Wednesday. Um, I expected the market to drop, and when we didn't, and when we held, which I did say in the room that morning, that's it. <sighs> Higher. I mean, you know. It was just a, such a strange, odd placement for the buying to come into the market that it was so real. You couldn't ignore it. So we won't drop today. We are up into resistance of that sell-off day. We will We will not fall, though, and we will we'll get over that. And I think we could, we could get over it today, and if we don't, we will next week. That, the, that buying that came in on Wednesday was so unexpected to me, reading the chart. Overall, the market's very bullish, that's true, but we could have retested that low. We could have continued lower again and still been very strong. The way that we sold off on that data in the pre-market really told me we were going to drop on Wednesday. And when all that money came in to buy that market up, and really we just were strong the entire day on Wednesday, um, you, there was just no looking back for the market after that. So it was an, an odd way, but institutional money came in on the live day um, in a very strange place. <clears throat> so we're, we're going to hold. But this is not holding. All right, I have time to look at this. Let's see. One person still in this, Gary. Anybody else? Looks fine. Looks like it's going to set up again. Obviously, if you didn't get out, it still looks great. This is this looks fine. In fact, it doesn't even look like it's trading. In fact, did it even trade yesterday at all? 
This stock is not selling off anymore right now, but it's definitely not getting bought. If, look at the tight range that I traded in on that higher time frame. If you're in this, it still looks great, to be honest with you. So hold it through. It looks great. Do, 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 do. Here we go. True, true, true. Let's see if we can get it down. 1085. Crap. I just missed that. 1085. Did anybody get out there? I must have happened in a split second. I missed that. Dubod's got out. Crap. That's where it would help to have your number sitting at the 1090. You would have gotten filled. I moved off for a look at the EXP for one second. Ah, crap. Oh my gosh, am I the only one that didn't get out? Is there, did everybody get out? I should have never taken my eye off that this chart. Gosh darn it. No, I didn't get out. I missed it. I mean, I'm still up, but and the trade looks good. Pyro's out, made money, 250. Gypsy's out of 1092. Devon's had a limit set. Shower singer got out. Am I the only one still in this? <sighs> I shouldn't look at anything else when I'm when I'm in a trade. I just shouldn't. <laughs> I, we should just be in silence. Am I the only one still in this trade? Everyone should have a good day. Everyone should be up. Everyone should be up. Everyone should have done this. There were some days this week there wasn't anything right to do, like Monday. I, you know, I mean, you got to trade when there's good gaps today. Everyone should have done this, and the price point was not expensive. It was cheap. So Barry, I hope you did it. Galahad, you better have done it. It was a good trade today. Not whipping, decent move. I still think it's lower, still in it. Um, all right, you people are driving me nuts. You want me to look at other stuff and now I just missed my exit with this. Here, I have to put this in the middle here. Look at the one. Just in case I see a bar like that. Uh, Netflix, no, I, why would you get back in this, no? No, 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 no. It didn't gap up today. What's the entry? It's too late. This didn't gap up today either. No entry, too late. This might set up again, I don't know. Barry, not today. Didn't gap down. Even if it falls today, it's not an entry. This could set up again. Man, this is, good. I know some of you are in this, and some of you killed it, some of you are still holding it through. This has so many months to go. That's why I called it out till April and June, whichever one you did. Um, this is not getting bought by any institutions. It's just, it just had that gap up, but it didn't go anywhere. So I really, you know, it's up to you with your money management, but I like this lower. Netflix is going to be the biggest call, though, probably that I made recently of the calls. I don't know if it will be today or next week. There's, there's nothing stopping this. This will hit over the high before anything else, before the market. So Netflix is the strongest stock in the market right now. And, and it's just too late if you take it. That's the problem. And if you did it and got out, I, I, you know, that's, that was perfectly fine. It was a profitable trade yesterday. And anything could have happened. But I got to be honest with you, the market yesterday clearly held. And next time you're looking at these things, time it with the market. It was very clear to me that there was a high level of probability the market would hold and rally today. And so based on that and the performance of Netflix yesterday, you could have held here. Hold on. I got to pay attention to this trade. And no more talking until I'm out of this. I'm like stressed now. I'm up. <laughs> I'm stressed for no reason. I'm up. <laughs> I'm stressed and I'm going to miss my exit here talking. All right. Hold on. 10.99. Here, true, true, true. Okay, now it doesn't look like it's moving.
Does this not look like it's moving? It doesn't look like it's moving on either place. Either charts I have. It's stuck. Oh, here. Here we go. Looked like it was stuck at 1099.11. Bit ass, but now it's moving. just get out right here but it did it did hit it did it actually went through 1090 some of you got a really good exit on this it actually went through that that number so it I mean there's a possibility it could break 1080 this would certainly make up for me missing the end tap yesterday good call by gyro I want to go over that I want to go over what he did with that. It looks like he left, but I want you guys to tell me. True, koala bears in a quarter of it. I'm in it. Am I? Or was it just the two of us here? Nope. See, look, this hasn't set up again yet. Ooh. Staved off a problematic stop there because that really looked like it could possibly fall through but and I'm not saying it doesn't but it's probably going to be way later 15 minute you know that, that drop was big market strong and I'm sitting in this and I'm falling asleep do 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 Okay. All right, let's go over a couple housekeeping things. Monday, the market's closed. President's Day. I'll send out the room like I do in the weekend, but the market's closed Monday. Still a lot of earnings uh, going on the rest of the month. Uh, and so that's good. I will look up, see what the big ones are out for next week. But again, I reiterate, you know, KHG came out. It came out very late. And usually if I'm stuck on something, you know, I won't, I won't rain, uh, scan up till 930. Um, maybe I should, but there were so many things this morning that I liked that I didn't feel the need to do it. And that came out very late. So if you see something late, just tell me. I do look at your guys' ideas. I was really starting to look for longs just in case the shorts didn't work, but there really wasn't any good longs. So next week's February 19th. True is going to keep going. Thank goodness. Home Depot. MGM. Oh, I haven't looked at Win in a while. Let's look at that chart today. Walmart. Woo! Walmart's going to be a... Let's look at that chart. Dillard's. There's a million things next week. There's like 100 things every day. All right. So Monday we're closed, but... Big week next week again. Actually, I can't take anything off here because I gotta look at this now. Walmart's next week though. That'll be an interesting chart. Walmart and to see what the casinos do. Is anyone still in Netflix besides Dubon's? Cause he was the only one that said it. Is he really the only one that's still in that train? If everybody didn't get out yesterday, you made money, so that's fine. I'm just wondering if he's the only one that really held it through. I guess he's the only one in it because no one's answering me. I should have had my order out of 1090. I just don't trade like that. I just never. 
do that. So. This is this is going to take a little while. I, I'm I'm staying with it. I mean, obviously. And Tat, what did you guys do yesterday on this? This could have followed through. It looks like it didn't. It did not fall through today and flipped wildly. What did you guys do with NTAP yesterday? Write it in the room. Had a big move in the morning. Really nice move. You could have done it here, got the drop. Could have done it here, got the drop. Did you do two trades in this or one trade in this? Really nice move in this. I knew this would work. I knew it would work when I saw it the night before. Look at that. Beautiful move. And this is a really good entry here for this. This is like gold. The second one here. Although this was the faster of the ones. Where did you guys do NTAP? Am I talking to myself? Because no one's writing anything. <laughs> it's like, hello. <laughs> Made $1,300 on NTAP. One trade, get out at the bottom. Good job. You could have pulled the stop down in the second one and added, but the ad was way past the price, but you still could have pulled the stop down if you wanted to protect your profits. It was a huge move, which it should have been for that stock anyways. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Anything you want to talk to me about? Sorry I missed yesterday. It was last minute. Um, Gary, I did get your email. That was very sweet this morning. And some of you, uh, things have been going well with the TV thing. I don't want you to worry that I'm going to just, you know, stop doing the room or teaching or anything. Because, you know, for now, anyways, I've realized that actually doing all of this with you guys daily, looking at charts, it really does give me an edge to talk on TV. So I think it's important for me to be active. Um, and I have a unique edge to talk about things because I'm here with you most days. Um, you know, and I think I, I think that is that helps me. I think it helps me. I think it's all good. It's hard sometimes to juggle the things and sometimes I'm tired, but I think overall, it, it gives me an edge to do it, and so I'm probably going to keep doing it all. I mean, I'm not saying for the rest of my life, but um, I don't think I'm I'm going anywhere anytime soon. Even you know if the TV thing continues to flourish, which which it is. I had a I had a really good week, and some some great things happened to me this week, which I can't I can't share with you, but I will when I can. Bottom line is that I'm not going anywhere, so you don't have to worry. And there may be days where Gyro has to help out. Unfortunately, his mom had to go to the hospital Tuesday. <clears throat> she's okay, but she's older and has some health issues, and so sometimes he has to tend to her. But I'm not going anywhere. Neil seems to enjoy talking to you. Thank you. Is that obvious? Is that, is that, is, do you notice that? Is that's the truth. <laughs> But I just, I mean, I already know that, but I was, is that obvious? You can tell that? Yes, you can see it. That's very interesting. Barry said, you and Kavuna wake a nice couple. That's funny. He's a, I mean, you know, it's interesting because when you're on the set, it's a very different dynamic when you're doing those split screens, which as you know, I was doing a lot of those and now I've been on the set twice, but you really have to read the energy of the other people you're on with too. You know, when you're on with other people as well, not just the anchor of the show. So it's, I'm really learning a lot and I'm sure that I will learn a lot from him. And uh, it's quite exciting, actually. I, I, I just, there's things that have happened in the last week that I can't tell you, but I will when I can. And the only thing I have to say is that, you know, it, it, you know, 
if you're if you're ever gonna I should do I should do a video on this or do a write up. If if you're if you're ever gonna do anything where you're gonna make a bet, the best bet you can ever do is you bet on yourself. And I and I do that with everything I do. So when people go and they attempt to trade and they wanna be successful, you're really betting on yourself. Because, you know, whether you plan on quitting your job or whether you you know, uh, quit your job and do it, or whether you invest money in my class or in trading and you still have a job and you're gonna keep it or whatever, you're, 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 it's not the market you're betting on, you're betting on yourself. You're betting on yourself to be successful, to learn this thing, which, which can be challenging, a lot of people fail at. But the same is true for lots of things in life, a whole list of things I could name. So when, when you take a chance, you're, it's, you're betting on yourself. And if you believe in yourself, you can make anything happen. And I am living proof of that. I mean, I, I would bet on myself with all the chips against me every time and win. And I bet on myself every day when I take a trade. I bet on myself every time I go on TV. I bet on myself when I started the business, when I quit my mortgage job. I, I, and I'm a good bet. I'm really a good bet. I'm a good person to partner up with with anything in life because I'm not a quitter and all the chips may be down and I will still keep going and I will do whatever it takes. Not sleep, not eat, do whatever. I mean, whatever, whatever it takes, I will do it. I will give it 150%. And it's not that sometimes I won't complain and whine myself or get down. I mean, I get pissed off when we lose in a trade or things don't work right. But again, I can turn it right around. And I did turn around my day on Wednesday for Fossil. I simply wasn't on TV. It was supposed to be scheduled for two different things. I sat here all day and tried to look for stuff. I really didn't get anything done because I was looking for charts, you know, trades and good charts to do. I, I really got nothing done, but I found the Fossil. I found the Fossil very late in the day. I don't know if anybody else really did it, but I knew that my time has been so limited. It's that I have to take every opportunity when the days that I am home. And I was so upset that that stupid thing didn't work on Wednesday morning. And maybe I shouldn't have done the market, but I, I was like, oh my gosh, we didn't do anything Monday. Tuesday, weren't here, you know? And either way, I, I realized doing the business really gives me an edge. Talking to people like you guys, looking at charts every morning, every morning, looking, 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 it gives me an edge. And people that are on TV do not do those things. They're not staring here at charts for two hours every morning, trying to figure out what the market's gonna do. And I, I would not do that. I would not do that if I didn't have the business. So it's here, this is setting up again. Should we get nuts or what? As I'm talking here. You could put this stop. I just don't want to be tight with this. 25. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's take more of this if you want it. 99 by 25 true. In fact, we could just put the order out to hit it, fill us at 99, and then we'll then we'll move the stop. So we don't, in case it just goes down. If you want to do it, just have it, have a sell order out at 10.99 to hit you, and then we'll move the stop if it hits. And then I'm going to get out of this, I swear to God, <laughs> sometime this morning. And this is just so weak. It's not really rallying. If you want to take more, another trade or a second trade or a third trade, you can do it. It's setting up in the five minute, under 99, you can do it. We'll move the stop to 10, uh, 11.25, that's not too tight. I seem very in control on my spots. Yeah, it's, you don't get to say a lot though. I prepare and prepare and prepare, I want to say, and it's the most challenging thing is you don't get to talk a lot. It's like, a, it's like, it's like 180 degrees different than here. Here I could talk all day. I talk for as many hours as you let me talk, three hours, whatever, two and a half, whatever. I could run a trading room all day, but I don't think that's good for us. It would be exhausting for me. And I think we'd lose money in the afternoon most days, so that's just stupid. But I could talk and lecture about other things every afternoon. It would be exhausting for me, but I absolutely could talk for eight hours a day nonstop. I could do it. And the TV is so different. It's so different. You have such a, I mean, it's by the second. Here, true. Here, move the stop. Move the stop up now to 1125. Man. Man, do I have a lot of this now. <laughs> Here, let's see if we can get it down to 1085. In fact, should we put an order out to hit us there? You know if I do, though, it's gonna go to 1070. No, here, pay attention, true. Did anyone else just do that again? Here, let me just quickly look at the market. 
it. Oh, do here. What a great, great day. Did anybody do this again? I'm still in the original. I just keep taking more. Somebody stop me. <laughs> um, the gypsy's in a bag again. You fix in your point very well, but I guess you know so well. Yeah, it's just, it's just I'm saying that with TV, you want to, I think the one thing I'm becoming more relaxed about is what I'm going to say and knowing, getting better at knowing that I do have a fixed time limit. So, you know, and that I'm not going to get to say everything. So I have to focus on, you know, the, uh, the things that I want to say. But I do love it. And, um. Some amazing things happened to me in the last week. I just can't tell you now, but it's all good. I'm not going anywhere. I believe that doing this now gives me an edge, which at the, what at the time when I started it last year, I didn't know that. I didn't understand it. And this is part of learning in the process too. Because sometimes I'm talking to people about things in the market and I'm thinking that I don't agree with them. Okay, for some for some people, I'm thinking, you know, it it's almost like sometimes you hear people talk about stuff and this is just in general like everywhere out there in the world on in channels lots of channels sometimes you hear people talk about stuff and kind of sounds like the same thing over and over and over again and also sometimes I'm like I don't really agree with that or that's not really important anyways or that doesn't really do anything to help me like I don't take away anything from it it sounds repetitive sometimes, things you hear, or you can't, there's nothing to take away from it. So I'm thinking about this more and more when, I'm, when I am on to try to give a piece of information that you could take away from listening to me. And, and I did do that the last two segments. I explained what a gap was, which is something to take away from Saturdays. When I was a Kavuto yesterday, I explained that we'll fly once we get over the high of Monday's sell-off bar. So those were two things you could take away from the segment. And really what I should do, and really what I actually should do, is, is go on somewhere to talk about Netflix. <laughs> this is a strong stock in the market right now. Um, they hired that, that big producer, which I don't know that much about, but I could Google and read it. Uh, that came out, I don't know, two days ago, yesterday, whatever. Probably why it gapped up again then yesterday. This is just looks better than the market, looks better than anything. It even looks better than Amazon, looks better than Google. Um, this is just going to fly. I mean, they are just spending so much money now to, to do these shows and create original content, and that is where it's at. And Google just is lagging so much. I mean, it just looks horrible since the earnings. Stock is still in an uptrend, but this used to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Amazon. You can't say that anymore. You can't even say that at all. I mean, I used to look at both these, like I'm talking 2016, 2017, when I was calling options, we were looking at things to do. It would be like Google, Amazon, Amazon, Google, do to do, do to do. I mean, back and forth, back and forth. We had done so many trades in these. I mean, I can't call a trade in this now. I mean, this isn't even over from that original gap from the earnings. I mean, this these this used to go toe to toe with this, and it, they don't look the same anymore. Man, is this weak? We're waiting a little bit, but I think it's gonna pay off. Let's look at the 30 minute. Anyways, when you decide to trade, you're betting on yourself. And it's a good bet if you believe in yourself. And if you don't, then you gotta sit down and figure out why and get it together because that's a sad, sorry state of affairs if you don't believe in yourself and you don't wanna live your life like that. And we're still in this. <laughs> um, let me see, let me check my email because we're still in this. <laughs> Make sure nothing else is going on. Does anyone have any questions about anything here while we're sitting in this and falling asleep? <laughs> ah, did everyone have a good Valentine's Day? Gosh, Easter is early this year. I just looked at the, the calendar because I thought we were close Monday. We definitely are. 
Good Friday is March 30th. That's the next day the market's closed. Easter is, gosh, Easter is early. April 1st is Easter? Wow. Does anyone want to ask me anything? I'm here, you're here. Ask me now if you need something. I don't think this goes anywhere but down. Let's check the stop. We could give this 27. We could give it over the number. Here, just give it give it two more pennies. It's that's not going to kill us. Give it 1127. Does anyone have any questions? It's so early, 1019. Market's gonna hold today. So the critical areas, let's just talk about the market now. Critical area is, this is a critical area, actually, we're at it. <clears throat> um, we're at it. And once we rally over this, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go up here and then we're gonna just go. That's gonna happen today. Give me, let's, let's, let's look at longs. Give me some longs, I'm sitting here. I can look at any longs to see about any options trades. Just give me everything you got. Give me ideas, I may as well look at stuff, I'm sitting here. I believe this continues to go, this is weak on its own. I have no problems holding this through a little bit more. I didn't miss the exit in the morning. I was looking at something else. I like it lower. Uh, market's gonna go. It's gonna go today. It's gonna do it. I can see. It's, it's crazy town. Is there anything else we can look at here? Let me look at Apple. No on Google. Amazon ready in. Can't call another trade in that. Netflix the same thing. Those both went yesterday. Can't get back in them. EXP you're waiting. CMG you're waiting or killed it. What other ones? Give me every strong stock I can think of in the world. I wasn't home, but Apple kind of did it yesterday. I'm not going to call anything here with this, but Apple looks much, much better after yesterday than it's been for a long time. Uh, NVIDIA. Give me every strong stock you can think of. Something might be setting up. Apple was yesterday, and I didn't even look at the chart because I was busy. Um, wow, now, NVIDIA already made a new high. Uh, what else? Well, let's look at Facebook. WBA, Home. Are these all strong stocks? Oh, I wanted to look at Walmart. <clears throat> I wanted to look at Walmart. One, it's next week, and two, I haven't looked at it for a while. Let's look at Facebook. Ew, this chart looks horrible. Apple was good, but it was yesterday. Mm. It'll be interesting to see what Walmart does. That chart looks good, but I don't know what it does. Uh, Hone, I'll look at. <clears throat> Give me any ideas you have. I don't see anything setting up today, which is unusual because market gapped up today, but it looks like a lot of things made moves yesterday. Market did gap up yesterday, but a lot of things rallied quite a lot yesterday, and the market didn't really. It held, but it didn't really totally do it which is why we could just break out today and fly like the moon um this is getting there not yet uh wba i forget this new symbol all the time i never look at wba i i never i forget this new 
Walgreens symbol here. Not yet on this. In fact, this looks the worst of any of the ones you gave me, Dubods. And we're sitting in this. What else did I say was next week? Dun, 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 dun. Any topics you want to talk about, anything at all, anything on your mind, anything that you want to go over from any trades this week, <clears throat> options day trades, anything, uh, Goldman looks strong too, weird area here for this today, but this looks good as well, Netflix is definitely the winner, NVIDIA too, really, too late for that. And this really looks good too, so... If you're still in EXP, it's fine. If you get out of Netflix and Amazon, I just can't tell you to get back into those because they really didn't set up again today. Maybe they will Tuesday, but it is a long weekend. If you are still in some of those longs and we get a big move today, I would look to try to get out today. Like if Amazon makes a big today with the market, if Netflix does... I would look to take an exit into the close today. Into the close, of, I think today at four o'clock the market's going to close really strong. We may not break out till this afternoon, but we're we're going to do it. We're ten cents away from doing it here in the spy. That was a nice call I made. And I temper the things I say on TV. I forget exactly what I said. There's a chance, or I wouldn't be surprised if the market moved through everything tomorrow in one week. <coughs> Excuse me. So it was a weird week. Some things worked, some things didn't. Um, you know, money, there was nothing. So I really hope that next week is much easier, you know, clearer. I think once the market situates itself again, it will be for us as day traders, even though we're mostly short. I think it was just a lot of sloppiness in the last 10 days. And so some of the trades needed secondary entries. We got through it, but... It's much preferable in trades like today and trades like you guys had yesterday. When and Jack are Tuesday after the market, those could be good for shorts. I think that's what you mean. There's a ton of things next week. A bazillion. So it's still earning season. You think the market will be down or neutral with a three-day weekend, but you're not Melissa. <laughs> Are you sure you're not Melissa? <laughs> now, why do you say that, Barry? This is very interesting. Because Zen Trader texted me this morning. Oh, my gosh. We're going to fall off a planet today. Tell me why you think that, Barry. Give me a reason. You're on Neil Cavuto. Explain it to Neil. Give me, where's the conviction? Where are you getting this? Why do you think the market's going to fall? And Zen Trader, too. You got to have something to back it up. Explain to me why you think that's the case. Give me a reason why you think the market's going to fall. Or be down. Convince me. I don't think you will, but you can try. <laughs> but the, it's a, no, it's the idea of a concept, think it through. Whether you're talking to me or talking to yourself or Neil Cavuto, think it through. Why do you think that way? Give me, give me a reason or think it through yourself, the reasoning. Give yourself a reason so you don't just go with the crowd of people that are like, wow, this is the resistance and we got to get you know through it and I don't think we do get through it and we're still lower and everything else like that. Yeah, I thought like that too. I thought like that too, that we wouldn't lift like this immediately. I was very cautious after the last week. I would never have bought here in a million years. And besides, you don't buy a, 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 just on a support. 
But anyways, the point is, though, that this I thought for sure would fall. We had a massive move down in the morning on data that you would have thought would have had a negative reaction. Even though I don't look at that stuff, I, w I was aware of it because of what I had to talk about. But point is, though, that this was real buying that came in at a very bizarre place. And it told me that buyers stepped back into the market. And then we followed through with a gap up yesterday. So this is what you want to see. And you want to see more of this. You want to see more of the follow through and here we go we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go right now we're gonna go right now oh my lanta crap i'm still in this thing <laughs> i'm still in this and it's hardly moving market's gonna go right now fear of anything happening over the weekend with no way out why would you say that necessarily though um what do you mean Only because of Friday and no trading until Tuesday. That's true. Normally, that's true. Here, I'm going to send an email right now. gonna do it we're gonna break out i can't believe we can't find a long no one can give me any good options trades at all we're gonna do it i'm telling you we're gonna do it right now in fact i'm just writing this email i'm gonna tell these people it's gonna do it give me any ideas whatsoever <laughs> for a long trade it seems like a waste because I think we're gonna break out and have a massive move and true is dead on arrival but I would like just 15 more cents out of it which seems like one million dollars right now <laughs> I may as well be one million dollars <laughs> at this point for being in the trade for an hour WTW Okay, Mary wants to look at this. NXPI long. I'll look at that. WTW looks amazing. I can't even believe what this stock has done. It's all Oprah, apparently. <laughs> I haven't looked at this forever. The last time I looked at it, we shorted it. I think it was $14. <laughs> wow. We can watch this next week. You can't buy this today. This is all due to Oprah. Because <laughs> that stock never looked like that for years. <laughs> you said before occasionally that we're going to get a certain target or say win in a trade because we deserve it. I'm more of a mindset that deserving it isn't quite relevant. You think as well as others, you get good and bad things, they deserve it. In other cases, the same that don't deserve it. Care to talk about another time. I, I say those things sometimes to motivate myself because when something doesn't work out that we anticipate will, uh, what was the one the other day? I can't even think of it. Not the, not the market, but the gap the other day on Wednesday. I can't even think. What was the one? Somebody, somebody, what was Wednesday's gap that didn't, that didn't work? I can't even think of it now. I want to look at the chart. What was it? Koala Bear, what was Wednesday's gap? Because I cannot remember it right now. Too much in my head. No, not the spy. The other one. There were two trades Wednesday in the morning. Shorts. What was the second one? 
car. I say I deserve it because it motivates me, first of all. Um, this didn't have the follow through on Wednesday. Should it have? Well, it didn't rate amazing. I'll tell you that. It did not rate amazing. Maybe I was over anxious to trade on Wednesday, which I told you a little bit ago. But it did sell off in that tail. It wasn't like the market was insane in the morning for this to flip. Um, there's times when I feel like, yeah, we, we deserve to win, of course. I mean, I got to be honest with you. I feel like I deserve to win every day. There's nothing wrong with feeling like that. Does that mean that bad things are going to happen sometimes that you don't anticipate? Of course. But it doesn't mean that you are sitting around waiting and expecting something bad to happen. I certainly don't think like that at all. I expect good things to happen. I feel like I deserve good things to happen. We deserve to win, yes. I'm never going to think differently. If sometimes something happens, we don't expect it to happen. It's part of life, I guess. But I'm not going to all of a sudden start expecting bad things to happen because that's how you create them. I expect good things to happen. And that's how I'm creating it. And the more you do that, the more good things will happen and the less bad things will happen. It's not, it's not about the fact that sometimes you're not a victim of circumstances beyond your control. Sometimes you are. For some, it's worse than others. Look at the 17 kids that got shot two days ago. So, you know, different people are in different paths in life. And I don't want to get too way out there about, you know, other stuff. But the reality is that everybody is in a different place at a different time and a different circumstance in life. And there are tragedies that happen. But I'm certainly not going to think like that. I don't want to be a victim and I don't want to think about bad things happening. And in fact, I do a very good job of trying to forget the bad things. I, I just couldn't remember right now, the second, what trade that was Wednesday. I, I honestly couldn't remember it. Do you see that? That was only two days ago. And some of you actually hang on to these things. And Gala had already signed out. He is the worst violator of that. He gets an award for that. He will hang on to bad things that happen from 10 years ago. <laughs> I mean, you cannot live like that. And that's one of the reasons he struggles. I can't remember something that happened 48 hours ago. I mean, I can now that you reminded me, but I, I my, my mind just goes into, you know, uh, amnesia mode, which by the way, is a good habit to get into if you're a trader. And when you're, when you're being hit with so many real time decisions to make, if you got to decide what we're doing today, thinking about Wednesday isn't going to help you decide what to do today. It will maybe screw it up today. We all deserve to win. I deserve to win and you deserve to win. Why not? We get up in the morning and we get ready and you get up early to be here and you rate the gaps and you're studying and you're looking at your charts and you're thinking and you're serious and you have an account and you went through the process to do the class. Hell yeah, you deserve to win. So do I. We all do. So many people are out there floundering, 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 and floundering, and floundering, and they don't give any effort hardly to trading. They give the least amount of effort they can possibly give, and then they wonder why they lose. They go to every free webinar, never really pay any real money for a class. I received an email, this was, gosh, end of last year, from somebody that said they just paid $2.99 for a gap class and didn't learn anything. They, they can't justify paying for my class. What the hell does that have to do with anything? It has nothing to do with anything at all. $299? What did they think they were going to learn with $299? <laughs> my dry cleaning bill is more than $299. <laughs> I mean, what did they think they were going to learn for $299? They thought they were going to learn how to make money in the stock market for $299 in a class? What was that person thinking? Yes, you deserve to win. You put a lot of energy and effort and money into this, and you deserve it, and so do I. And really, everybody does if they're willing to put forth the effort. But I'm telling you that a lot of people don't. A lot of people do not put forth the effort. They don't. You have because you're here. So obviously you do. And me as well. And everybody deserves it if they put forth the effort. But how can you possibly expect to win or do well if you don't put forth any effort? That's like crazy town. So I sent the email. <laughs> I 
We're going to do it today. I temper what I say, but I felt, I felt 100%. <laughs> or I wouldn't have said it, but I tempered what I said yesterday, but I felt 100%. I tempered it. I'm just saying in general though, Koala Bear, I'm saying that you can't get something for nothing in life. That's the point I'm making when, when your goal is a big goal. This isn't small goals. Uh, this is a big goal. And it could be any goal. It could be, you know, I don't know. I can't think of something else right now because I, I am tired and I'm sitting this trade for, for all morning. But it could be any goal. It doesn't have to be trading. It could be any goal that's a big goal. I'm not talking about small goals. I'm, I'm talking about big goals, okay? In the big picture of life, large goals that you have, things that you want to do, you know, that's what I'm talking about, that you got to put forth effort, not small goals. Like my goal today is I want to go work out and get something done I'm kind of behind with some work. That's a, those are small goals today. Get a workout in, get a good night's sleep, get a little bit of work done. Big goals, getting on TV. You know, full time. So, you know, you have small goals and you have big goals. But I do have to put effort in the small goals because if I don't go to the gym, then I won't be having a workout. And I have to get out of this train so that I can go work out before I eat lunch. Because <laughs> that would fit better in my schedule. So yes, you deserve to win. I deserve to win. Everyone here deserves to win. A lot of people deserve to win and people that do put forth effort. But if you don't put forth effort, I'm not saying you don't deserve to win, but how can you possibly have that expectation? So magical fairy isn't going to go touch you on the forehead with a wand and say, poof, you are magically an immediate successful trader and you didn't do anything and you just watched free videos for years and you never lost any money in the market, never had any hard times, never had to go through any emotional ups and downs or financial ups and downs. Would you say that person deserves to win? Well, I'm not going to take away from anyone's success, but... If you stack up all the people that I've ever talked to over the last six years of having a business, I'd say a lot of them would deserve to win and be touched on by the trader fairy with an immediate success thing than, than somebody that never put any effort into it and never went through any hardship. And I've talked to a lot of people like that. So, If you uh, know you have to put effort into something to get somewhere, then you won't whine about it or complain or feel down when, when you have to. So just feel like it's going to be fine and know that you're going to do it and know that the effort will be worth it. The problem is when people have to start to put effort into something, then they feel like, oh, it's going to be too much work. Oh, it's going to be so much effort. Oh, this is good. I know. I know. I've been there. I've been there with lots and lots and lots of things. I just talk it out loud and then I get through it and then I move on and say, well, this is what it's going to take. You just got to move past it. It's rare that you would be just, just thrown into something without putting any effort into it and all of a sudden become successful with some massive goal you have in your life. What if you said, Melissa, I want to be the next CEO of Amazon. Jeff Bezos is so rich, he's going to retire. He's going to retire. He doesn't even need to work now. He's going to retire and go live in an island that he bought. And I want to be the next CEO of Amazon. I said, well, that's a, that's a pretty big goal. What are you going to do to achieve that goal? What are, is your plan of action? How are you going to make it happen, Koala Bear? Well, it's not going to happen by sitting in here just looking at charts every day. You got to put some effort into it. Lofty goal. Do you deserve it? Sure you do if you put some effort into it. Um, 
I don't I don't know what you're trying to say there, Crawlberry. You lost me about preparing. It's doing it's doing the work. Preparing, doing the work, all of it. This is really going to be lower now. It's just a question of what time. <laughs> it, it, it has been basing now literally almost since 1015. Let's just see exactly. 1018. The stock has traded in a two penny range from 1017 until 1043. For almost 30 minutes straight, the stock has been basing in a two penny range. It looks like a breakdown play. If you really want to get nuts, you could shorten the base here and put this put the stop right over here. I don't have it there, but this looks like it's going to break down. Does anyone have any questions about anything? I really don't have anything else to say. Is anyone in this besides me? Am I the only person left in it? Hello. Gypsy's in the second trade. Who is in it? Three people. L O G M. Is there something that you've done with this, or this is just a long, or something you're looking at? Or are you in a trade here? <coughs> oh, this fell off the planet. Did get down today. I don't know the reason. Let's look at it. Woo, look at this. This worked. Big stop, but fell hard. Beautiful entry in here. I mean, this is, this looks, I mean, this, this is too late. It looks great. It's working on every time frame again. This could go to 120. If you want to do a short in this, you can, but it's late. If you want to watch it for a setup, you can, but it's late. This was the morning one that had the big heart of fastball in the morning, but we didn't see it. Nobody saw it. I didn't scan then. Again, closer to nine, I should have for the shorts. But anyways, this, I'm glad we did not jump back into this then quickly because look, every trade is set, uh, setting up in this in the lower time frame, so it's failed here now. 15 minute, the only thing I go back into this if you wanted to do it, or if you didn't do it, if you want to do it at all. Uh, but obviously I'm in this sucker and there's nothing I can do but wait. But the, the one you said worked, but I didn't see that either. And I don't think that would have rated well, but you could have done it at some point later in the day after 10 because it clearly was doing it. Uh, but that's a strong chart. There's nothing wrong with that chart. You could have shorted it today, but the chart's fine. Uh, this worked too, but didn't work in the morning. Man, is this expensive. Holy crap, what is this thing? No, I never would have done this. Never in a million years. Look at the rally in here. You could have done this here, theoretically. Would you have? No. You would have never known this was going to work. I wouldn't have done this. We didn't miss this. KHG, we missed. KHG would have rated good, and it's set up, and everything is beautiful with that. This is crazy expensive, and I never would have done it. And I'm not even sure if it's lower here, but it did have a move this morning, but there's no way we could have done it. Um, whatever happened to VFC? Ugh, gosh. This is one of these ones, I mean, look where it opened. It actually, it broke that 74 level. It opened at 72.51. I mean, what a shame. This, with the move this has had, $6, which I expected to be moving it. I said 70. At the time I said it was like around up here. So I was right about a $6 move. It's too bad. This would have been a big one. This would have had a big stop this morning, uh, but this just totally didn't work or do anything right. I should have called an option Apple yesterday and just did, I wasn't looking at this chart. I wasn't looking at it. I can't look at everything every second. <sighs> good talk today. Have a good weekend. You're welcome. I think I'm going to let everybody go. I think the two people that are in it, you can handle it on your own. Um, I might have a little snack, stay with this trade, and then go work out afterwards because I do need to get a workout in today. My sleep schedule and workout schedule was messed up again this week. Um, but I'm going to stay with this trade. I don't think you guys need me to monitor it. Stop is 11.27. Don't take any more. If you're in the second trade, it's fine. Looking for targets of 10.90, 10.85.
1070 would be a dream target. The longer this holds here and, and breaks down, I believe that it will break the low, which was 1085. I see 1070 could actually happen, which would be a really big, a big number. It would be a big number for me with the size I have in this. I'm up in this now sitting here. I'm not stressed out about it. I just want it to go soon. And I could have gotten out of this down in here, and I probably would have if I had seen it to get it. Oh no, not there, the other one here. This one here, I would have gotten out of it. Once I was engaged in the trade then, I didn't get out of this here and I really thought it would keep going. So, so I'm still in it. Listen, have a good weekend, everyone. I will see you Tuesday. Here, hold on a second. Wait, it's gonna work now. Oh, yay. Those of you that are still in it. Oh, beautiful. See, I told you, you could have almost done that like a breakdown play. It looked like it was just going to nosedive. You can see how it just got sold off more in that big red bar. It was a nice short today. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did it because VHC, a uh, VFC didn't set up, um, and the other one we didn't see it all too late. All right, well I'm hanging on to this. Does anyone have any more questions? This, the, you're up. You're up if you're in it. Still, the two people that are in it. It's a great trade. I'm gonna hang with it. Hopefully, I can get out of here in the next 15 minutes. We'll see. Listen, I'll see everybody Tuesday. Planning on being in the room every day next week. Something could happen spur of the moment. I don't know, but I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. And um, I will see you all here. Truey, Rui. Oh, my gosh. So glad I held this through. Here. It's working. All right. You could get out here if you want. I'm going to try to hold it like one more little tiny minute. But good job, everyone, today, okay? You're welcome. Have a good day.